Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Northern Lion. I'm playing the Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth. We've won five runs in a row. Oh my god, we're starting with a Holy Mantle Heart. We're also starting with volume that might be slightly louder than I'd like it to be. Give me a moment. Properties level. Ah, I think it's like... It's pretty good. How's that? Is that better? I didn't change anything, you jokers. Gotcha. F29P J4JB. With active contrition, I think is what this is. And then uh, Lemon Mishap and a Holy Mantle Heart and not Bad Trip. Are you a wizard? That's, it's, I mean, Bad Trip would be horrible because we'd lose our Holy Mantle Heart. I'd much rather temporarily deal with the nonsense of um, Are you a wizard than permanently lose our Holy Mantle Heart. So this, oh, item tracker, there you go. This run is very, very good. Now why, NL, you're a good, you're a good boy. Why do you sound so incredulous? When you say you got five wins in a row in Anti-Birth. Well, it's because Anti-Birth is a f fucking nightmare show sometimes. And yet, here we are, having kind of... I don't want to say solved it. By the way, actually, our, our damage is just okay. But our rate of fire is excellent. So this is like an absurdly awesome start. Especially when you consider that Holy Mantle Heart giving us an awful lot of protection. But either way... Um, it feels nice to, to be in control of Anti-Birth, and some of these runs have been a little wonky, I'll admit. Um, not all of them have gotten great right off the bat, and if anything, that just strengthens my position that we're starting to figure out what's going on in this game to the best of our ability, and I like that. It's a good feeling. Now, we got uh, a key. Normally, you would probably want to use this key to access what appears to be a library over there. I don't know if that's the right choice for us based on the fact that we also need this key to access the alt path. Okay, we gotta stop taking damage. Mostly because one day a champion is gonna make us, you know, regret it. Tinted rocks also valuable. But in a way, I, I kind of want my, um... I want my, uh, Holy Mantle Heart to suck up as much damage as it can without us losing the Spirit Hearts on top of it before the end of the floor, at least. So, sadly, we have no Tinted Rocks easily accessible. Give me one more key so I can go to the library. Okay, good. We can go to the library. Now, Lemon Mishap is pretty decent. Let's see who we're fighting here. Famine. So, we actually won't get, like, any benefit out of Lemon Mishap, which was the whole reason I came through with this, um in the first place, but that's okay. Um, we're hoping, well, we'll get a spirit heart, we'll get a cube of meat, and then from our library, I'm hoping to get a book that renders Lemon Mishap useless, basically. If we can get, uh, or at least usurped. If we can get Book of Revelations, if we can get Satanic Bible, if we can get Book of Belial, Book of Sin, Book of Shadows, any of those, I mean, there's a wide swath. How to Jump? Any of those books will probably take precedent over Lemon Mishap, although uh, Lemon Mishap is actually not bad. So Book of Virtues gives us a fire, and then we're going to take Book of Revelations with us in the future. And we might be able to cheese up uh, one extra cube of meat early on here. That's pretty nice. What I mean by that is... Well, first, let's come in here and see what we get. Two pills. I can see forever. Wow. Good save. Uh, and inside of our secret room, we get another pill. Lock up. Okay. And then, tears down. Not that bad. Honestly, not that bad. Um, still got a great rate of fire. So, what I'm thinking here is we uh, head downwards. We're going to be on the downpour one. One moment, please. We get another luck upgrade. Bad gas. Experimental pill, tears up, speed down. Not bad. Speed is still at an acceptable level, and then Hematomesis changes nothing, except it gives us the information of where Hematomesis is. Alright, so we got tears down, looking for a PhD. So what I'm saying is if we come down to this floor, maybe we'll get a chance to fight another famine uh, as a result of the fact that I just used Book of Revelations right off the bat. I'm not sure if having fought one... Um, one... Famine means we can never fight another famine if the floors change. So we're, we're going to find out, I suppose. We're looking for keys to get into that item room. And that actually could be another library in there as well. Um, I'm actually somewhat regretful that I didn't go with uh, Book of Virtue. 
The angel room chance is interesting, but mostly I think if we'd gotten a lot of battery charges and Here's the, here's the deal. At some point, you basically cap out on usefulness for both of these books. Like, they, they hit a max where they stop, uh, they stop actually producing anything for you. However, the max for, uh, Book of Revelations comes a lot faster. I think. Sure, yeah, okay, fuck off, excuse me. I want to uh, peep this right off the bat because I want to see what kind of deal with the devil we're working with here. If we get a good deal with the devil, as far as I'm concerned, this run, you know, we're in the driver's seat. I was still, you know, even with a few wins in a row here, I don't feel comfortable being like, oh yeah, easy win. Um, however, I do feel like we're in the driver's seat uh, if we can get some either DPS or a great utility or defensive item. Basically, anything good is going to be good. We're in a, a very lucky position to not need anything in particular. So anything that we can find will benefit us. As long as it's good in the first place. Yeah, uh, we might as well take HP right off the bat. And Death's Touch. That's actually beautiful. So, slightly worse rate of fire uh, for the benefit of having much greater damage. So, looking pretty good here. Again, my informal goal is 10 wins in a row. It seems modest until you remember that... Uh, Anti-birth is no joke. And a lot of these wins have required not amazing play necessarily, but a certain degree of decency that I think... Uh, let me put it this way. You can play worse on, an av on the average afterbirth plus run and have a better chance of succeeding than you would on the average uh, anti-birth run. We will sacrifice one black heart to check this out. And we got two black hearts out of it, so... Money well spent, as far as I'm concerned, and then we're fucked. We could try to look for a secret room. Or, actually, that's our better option right there. Just a spirit heart, no key. Alright, um, I'm gonna save our bomb so we can go to the second alt path. Little bombs. Missing out on the, I mean, the item rooms is like, or the item rooms are the principal reason for going to the alt floor apart from some derelict sense of duty. So to not get it, uh, it does put us behind the eight ball. Although I will say that picking up Death's Touch uh, is much better than your average haul from an entire floor. Item room or not, so... And we were still very, very well equipped. But we could have been better equipped if we'd managed to save a key, but... What did our... What did we spend the key that we could have spent for the item room on, it's a difficult sentence. <laughs> but what we spent it on was uh, getting Book of Revelations, so I think in the end it worked out probably better this way. Although who knows what was in the item room, right? For now though, uh, we need one more bomb. We have an item room uh, that's gonna contain Zodiac items as a result of us skipping our last item room, but in order to make it function, we're gonna need another key. So let's start with this one. We just got our key. Uranus, Ice Tears. I think that's pretty great. Judgment is a regular judgment. Give me some keys, buddy. You might say it's not Uranus, it's Uranus. Look, okay, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, the, the sixth planet from the sun is Uranus. Uranus? What is this Uranus? I've never heard of it. What a delectable name. Is it some sort of food stuff? Well, actually, it's a celestial body. Oh, you mean Uranus. Sorry, I didn't understand. I got confused. I thought it must be something I'd never heard of. Alright, anyway. I don't know where that joke's going. Ice tears, though, are great. If you'll allow me. Ice shooting deserves a quiet ice. Something like that. Michael Stipe, don't sue me, please. Still would like to go to the item room. But again, kind of in this nice situation where pretty much... Got more than one floor's expected value just from the one item we actually got. So, you know, I ain't sweating it right now. Hopefully we can beat the relatively modest odds and pick up another deal with the devil here as well. Let's see if that's going to happen. It's going to be Vermwood. Get stomped, son. That was really, really easy. Uh, we will not take HP. I don't know. I'm kind of torn on the subject. I don't really want to lose heart containers, uh, like our spirit hearts, for no reason here. But this run is... I mean, am I cocky enough now to call it? Is this run just going to be called a win? I, th 
I mean, it's really fucking good. Pardon my French. Like, as far as Isaac runs go, or anti-birth runs go, to be more specific, this is, like, exceptional. You know what? Let's take Bum Friend. If we're not gonna take stem cells because we don't want HP, let's take Bum Friend. And we'll just head downwards here. Sure, we could play the Blood Bank some more. I think that's definitely secondary to our overall goals right now. We'll just head downwards here. Usually the mines are like a pretty good test. How our life is going. I don't think that's necessarily going to be the case right now. Did we get the... Yeah, we got the knife piece. That's <laughs> very important that we remember that. So what's our like game winning item right now? Well, first I would dispute the idea that we have not already won. However... Our game winning item, if you want to get technical and specific, is... Wow, there's our bosses. Um, is probably... Uh, Holy Mantle. Would be disgustingly great for us right now. That's bad, but only in the sense that it's annoying. I don't think it actually hurts us that much. Can you freeze his head, push it into the rest of his body? Nah. These guys thought of everything! Wait, does that break him? That was really good. You do not want, want to chase me down, I assure you. Had to resist my potion seller voice there, but... This is only gonna end in despair for you. Just wait it out, wait it out. One of these days will make this work. I know there's a bomb down there. That was poor. That'll do it. Yes. Please. <sighs> Take forever with the order. There we go. Okay, so we got an 85% chance of a deal with the devil now. It's great Gideon. We actually could hit a sick chain reaction here. Like, freeze all the enemies, or at least many of the enemies. And then start pushing them into one another and getting the chain freezes off. Or maybe just freeze them and leave them there? <laughs> I mean, either one is completely okay. Whatever works, I suppose. I mean, we're kind of approaching a state of ridiculousness. That's alright, though. I don't mind things being a little ridiculous. Although, I'm worried about these frozen bombs. What happens to them when they go off? I'll try to push them away from me, maybe. Either way, okay, so we need two spirit hearts to unlock the path to the next floor. This is our final wave, I think. Oh, just go, 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 just go! We got deals with the angel. And the alt path is indeed open. Okay, so our deal with the angel. I don't want to keep peace. It doesn't give us anything if we're going on the uh, if we're going on the alt path. Pageant boy, a single luck upgrade makes it worthwhile, but apparently not. And of course, we have amnesia. All right, so what are we doing now? Just exploring the rest of the floor. Honestly, that turned out to be kind of a whiff, but scapulars, you know, potentially pretty good. Try to get some keys and improve ourselves here. I don't see any tinted rocks now. That doesn't mean that there's none there. Yeah, okay. Bum friend, at this point, we're never going to use the shop. We have no keys. So we might as well give bum friend some of this money in the hopes that he can make enough keys for us to one day maybe get value out of the shop. You see what I'm saying here? Please get frozen. God damn it. We're gonna start to take damage, but this is my own badness. Don't read too much into this uh, as, like, the run hitting catastrophe or something like that. Like, I think we're actually fine. Um, I think we're more than fine. I think we're in an exceptionally great position. We just need to stop being an idiot. And, I mean, that's not really specific feedback, unfortunately, but that doesn't mean it's wrong. Start stacking up some more spirit hearts. I mean, we did just give two spirit hearts away as well. I think we've used two I can see forever, but we're probably taking two of spades. Temporarily, at least. Okay. 
Maybe stop playing uh, chicken with these enemies. We do only have 5.87 damage. That's great, but it's not uh, its not enough to, like, two-shot most of these guys. Mind you, like, four shots come out really quick, but still. Okay, there's a bomb for two spirit arts and a tinted rock situation in here. With the small rock, so that'll take us up to, like, seven. Yeah, 7.01. Sorry, I was way off. More spirit hearts. And actually a number of keys that makes two of spades worth using. So, it's always nice. Uh, how come the fire doesn't melt the frozen enemies and turn them into a melted variant? Boy, I sure hope somebody got fired for that blunder. I'm also... You know I'm looking at this. Because... This is the kind of guy I am. Now we can actually take advantage of that. It's just the kind of guy I am. You know I'm looking at this and saying, maybe, just maybe, boss rush happens. Probably not. I have no idea where I am. Good lord. Um, maybe boss rush can happen on this run. I already used the key, so I guess we'll hold it. Ah, infamy is really good, and we already have piercing shots. Not spectral. Dead Onion does give you spectral tears as well, but... Um, I think maybe Infamy could, for its damage negation, could be valuable for us. Either way. Run. Run! I really tried to outrun it. That was pretty stupid of me. Okay. Um, we have done this room. We have not done this room is what I mean to say. Alright, push, push, push. Lady Lightning, there we go. 100% HP, and we're back in the saddle again. Gotta try to remember where the fuck the boss room is. Thank god our shots are wider than there. Oh my god, my eyes! Lemon Party nearly rendered me legally blind. I gotta say, I'm very slightly bummed at the, um... That must have been a mini boss. Yeah, so that was like right where we started, and this is the boss fight. Beautiful. Gotta say, a little disappointed with how uh, little we improved on that floor. But we are leaving with full HP, going down to the mausoleum, not fighting the angel statue, because again, the key piece garners no value if you're going down to the corpse. Um, and we're about. Ah, uh, we're, we're way too slow for boss rush, but the run's still very, very good. Please freeze. Just get one frozen, and then the chain reaction can be... Oh, the bosses don't really freeze, so disregard. And by really, I mean they don't freeze at all? I don't know. Maybe this is the kind of run where I will start... Ooh, okay, sure. Uh, maybe this is the kind of run where I'll start to um, think about going to both sides of the mausoleum. The thing is, it's a tough sell. And I, I recognize that the people who, uh... We, oh, that sucked. Uh, I recognize that it's an e I'm an easy target for this. And I don't even mean this as like, oh, woe is me. But, um... There we go, we made it out. I'm an easy target for this because I'm the guy playing anti-birth. And then I'm like, I don't really want to go to the other floor. Because I think it's hard. Or the other side of the floor, rather. But I really do think that there's a case to be made that sometimes the second half of the mausoleum, if it only has a second shop or it only has a second curse room, is not worth doing. Sometimes it can have a second item room, and without mapping, there's no way to know whether it has a second item room until we check it. So, I will, uh, I'll own up to that. That may indeed be a smart idea for us to approach. I also hate doing the teleporter mazes, so... I do want to argue against the idea of, like, just because I've won five in a row, that means that, you know, whatever I did on those runs is automatically right, you know? A broken watch could be right five times a day if it was broken in an incredibly specific fashion. Broken watch is not necessarily right twice a day. For example, if, a, if the broken watch is broken and the time doesn't move, sure, it's right twice a day. Um, however, what if it's broken and every second... Or every, instead of every second it ticks, it ticks, you know, 1.02 seconds or something like that. Then it might, you know, might be right twice a week or something like that. I, I'm not going to run through the pattern in my head right now to figure it out, but you get the idea. 
It might still be... It might be right once a day in that case. That might be as bad as it gets. But if it runs fast... No, it'll still be right. If anything, then it'll be right more. You get the... Okay. I'm, I'm busting out my algorithm hat right now, which is not where we want to be um, for an Isaac episode. I'm just thinking about it. I'm, I'm working through the problem. Uh, I'll tell you what. Grab this. Pop that. We got 20 keys now. And we got a half red heart, so that was well worth the investment. Half red heart, I think, at this point. That holds all the cards. What if you land on one of these Zambros? So, I, I mean, I think you can probably figure out... I can't believe this has worked out so badly for me. I think you can figure out what I was trying to do there, which was freeze almost all the enemies and then go to town. Didn't quite work. Fuck it. Reroll me. I didn't get the second knife piece anyway. <laughs> We're so fast now. Okay, so I first off, my apologies. I didn't realize I didn't get the second knife piece. Secondly... Okay, we're, we're going real freaking fast. You know what? It was amnesia. I mean, it's my own fault, but it's also amnesia tricking me. This is a weird run. I don't even know what to say about this run. I'm going to take undefined for teleporting's purposes. But then we're just going to be... Yeah, this one doesn't really count as a win, even if we win. Because I threw it all away, man. We could still... Oh, you know what? We could get Mom's Knife. That's our ticket. Just get Mom's Knife. I tried it on Kate's stream last night. Mom's Knife will give you... Um, will give you access. So I don't expect it to happen. But it could. I think we have, like, Cricket's Body working with this or something. It's, a, it's very strange. But it's not not getting the job done. Lemon Party should shit on some of these bosses. Uh, we've, been, we've been to our item room. We did go to our shop. We don't want to take a tears downgrade. Lemon Party versus the pile. I like our odds there. Just stand up here so hopefully he teleports in this direction. Or, sure, charges in this direction. Still completely fine by me. Mom's knife, please. No deal. Instead, we get super bandage again. We'll head down to the next floor here. We got, like, one last chance. To make this happen. And if we don't, we don't. That's, you know, it's my own idiocy. Shit happens. Life goes on, etc, etc. Oh, what? <laughs> it's the second time I've done this with, uh, with Undefined. Oh, wait, we're, we're back, boys. We didn't get what we wanted, but we got, uh, we at least got back onto the floor so we could do things this way. Although now I might rather be on the error room. To be honest with you, because we... Well, I'm happy we got the deals at least. Being able to fly and having, you know, damage tied to our, uh... To our money is, is very nice. That's funny, though. Alright, well... It was anti-birthy. Maybe we got one last chance, you know, if there's an extra... Extra item room that somehow contains... I don't know why I'm talking like Tom Waits in Nighthawks at the diner again. But maybe it's because it's been a long recording day. Um, there you go. Get some sympathy and then people won't be as mad at you for taking the wrong path. Life goes on, though. Take a very, very uh, heptapodish view of Isaac, you know? Time is a flat circle and all that. Ooh, well, well worth going to the second half of the level this time. Cricket's head takes us up to 10 damage. Careful with the uh, potential error room access. Dude, what were the odds of us getting an error room on one, any one play of Undefined? You could, like, there's a million rooms we could go. Oh, but this always takes you to special rooms, right? I keep getting it confused with Golden Teleporter. Yeah, that's right. If we go down to the, um, well, we will almost certainly be going down to the, uh, the womb, one way or the other, um, that's going to give us, it's going to put us on the womb too, right off the bat. Lemon party or lemon party? I think I'll go lemon party. Um, that's going to put us on the womb too, right off the bat, so the run's going to move pretty freaking fast. You know what? We got eight bombs. I don't want to, we're going to be fighting like alt path mom. I'd rather not 
be too fucked up on HP when we get down there. Keep the streak going, even if this one only sort of counts. I mean, let's be honest, I am kind of banking on the idea that um, we'll all forget about this and it'll just become another win the next time I load up anti-birth, but that's how I get you. NL with those illicit Isaac streaks cheating us out of a well-deserved victory. No, that's not really what's going on here. Infamy? I mean, we already had it once. Would I take it again? Absolutely, dude. Infamy, if you're ever applying for a job, feel free to put me down as a reference. Just hope you're not applying against, like, Mom's Knife and you're good. Uh, secret room? Ooh, two of diamonds. Is so good. Because of money equals power. So we're gonna stay... Oh, jeez. We're gonna stay away from uh, Lemon Party for now, but and we're gonna stay away from using Two of Diamonds, but we'll use Two of Diamonds if we get to like 40 something cents, or if something so good comes along that we can't afford to wait any longer. So, we haven't even been to our uh, item room yet. We'll go back and peep that. We've been to just about every other room that could ever conceivably exist, but no item room just yet. Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker, you got the best of me, but I just keep on Sucking you excessively Not to be consumed by people under the age of three. It's, this is not a joke about, you know, anything sexually suggestive. You ever consumed a jawbreaker in your life? I just really like looking at this right now. I guess we'll take five bombs that are also toxic. Jawbreakers are wild, dude. Um, let's start cracking into this, maybe. Make up for the 15 cents we just lost, at least. Nothing more than that. Be a little nicer to our donation machine. Um, a jawbreaker is just like a big candy ball made of, like, you know, exclusively flavored sugar, I think. Wrapped around itself over and over again. I got one of them when I was, like, six. I think it was irresponsible parenting. I did not choke to death, but I was like, if, if at any point this slips like into my throat I will die so you know it's for those rare times you're like hmm I want something sweet that also could kill me not in 40 years but right now wow I don't know what we did to that fire but it was pretty swell so we got two-thirds of the knife sadly that's not enough right yeah maybe don't walk into those we kick the shit out of her though like we're already done with this uh, we'll take the Polaroid and then of course nothing in there that's sad but I did it to myself maybe thought maybe like if there's battery charges maybe they'll teleport me into that room oh we have PhD now so those pills are good uh, if we have battery charges maybe I can get a teleport into that room doesn't appear so well maybe it appears so we can't make it happen so my apologies on that jawbreakers like Tough love. I think. Either way, we're back on the uh, the normal path at this point, except we're starting at Mom's Heart, and we got two diamonds. There's no hush, so pretty much this run has no reason to exist, and you've wasted your time watching it without being entertained. Well, I apologize. You know, I that goes for both of us. I've had a fun time on this run. And uh, I think, you know, every run... It's increasing our anti-birth skill, if only incrementally. Even if this run's not the biggest run ever for our improvements, it's still something. And you might be saying, like, why even play anti-birth at this point? There will probably come a point soon at which anti-birth has run its course. Um, and there will come a point soon after that where I say, well, let's stop playing it. However, for now, um, I know that most of this content is probably going to have a chance to come out in Afterbirth Plus. And the mod is so good... I feel like, you know, we don't need to play it until we've seen 100% of all permutations that can exist, which is pretty much what we do with Afterbirth Plus, and, and Afterbirth and Rebirth and Vanilla Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb, etc, etc. Um, but I at least want to give it its just dues, right? Like, we've... I had a great time playing this mod. We play it for, you know, once a day for two months. That seems like an appropriate response, I think. Like, I think that's roughly... Uh, that's roughly what it maybe it deserves in a, in a good way. That's like an extreme vote of uh, confidence. 
Uh, I will say, actually, this run might not be worthless. It might be a little trip down memory lane, because with Undefined, can we not loop chess in Rebirth? I thought that that was only nerfed in Afterbirth. Which would mean that uh, we can use Undefined to get error rooms and just endlessly chain uh, chest loops together. Either way, Lump of Coal's good. It's not a bad item. We're gonna teleport, see where we end up. Um, sure, key bagger. I'm just gonna blow him up. Two red hearts. Oh, this is great. Okay, so this might be a chance for us to finally pop two of diamonds and get the maximum damage increase. Oh, it definitely is. Might as well just pop it like that. Okay, so we're up to 14 damage now. And really, pretty much a 0% chance to lose this run. If there's one thing that I'm really proud of on this run, and that's debatable, but if there is one thing I'm really proud of on this run, it's that that Holy Mantle Heart has stuck around the entire time. It's really been there since, like, minute one. So I'm using uh, Samson's Chain productively for the first time in my adult life. Stood right behind it and uh, made it pretty much impossible for me to take damage there. This is an easy Isaac fight. It's actually going to be a very fast run considering it took the alt path as well. We're going to head down here and if we loop, we loop. If we don't loop, we don't loop. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But it would be nice to get at least one done. Just as a, you know, a trip down memory lane. What do we get? Rainbow Baby, it's fine. Lazarus Rags, who cares? Crack the Sky, it sucks in Rebirth, but is good in Afterbirth. Crystal Ball Maps gives us a Spirit Heart, and then we take Crystal. We take this with us. Not Crystal Ball, but uh, Undefined. So I think we'll start in a secret room. I don't think that gives us an extra chance, but I vaguely remember that being like on the list of things that people were like, you should do it if you want to get maximum number of loops. It might give you an extra chance. Okay. Well, that was like... A perfect test, because it took us back to exactly the same room we started in, unfortunately. So I'll get one more charge, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't work, still a fun run. Uh, one of these days I'm going to figure out how to use, like, controllable tiers effectively. Just need to figure out when it's best to use controllable tiers as uh, Ludo, and when it's best to use controllable tiers as just regular tiers, which is the way that I do things, like, 99% of the time. This ended up being a much stronger run uh, than I anticipated as well, especially despite having the reroll. I have no memory of our past life. I don't remember what it was like, but it must have been darn decent if we're happy with this one as well. Oh, Samson's Chain. Good stuff! The curve was a little scary. We did get an air room. Okay, one loop. Perfect. Taurus will pop real quick. Another two of diamonds is not worth anything. Um, neither really is Lemon Party, but... Fortune Cookie, great item! But we're gonna keep on Defined. Alright, so we get four more items. This is cool, and the more of these we can chain in a row, the better, but... Don't get, don't hold your breath. There we go, Sack Dagger's pretty good. Sissy Long Legs. And another Error Room. Uh, that at the very least we get four more items out of the, uh, out of the chests. So it's well worth going back up here. So we got a 12 item chest that's better than a Yera at this point. You can see how, why did they take this out at Afterbirth, man? Speedball's fine. Really helps out with Taurus as well. We should pop Taurus immediately. Proptos is obviously beautiful. Yawkart, very good. Bomb bag, just a value add, but still. Yeah. Immediate Taurus, pretty swell. Try to get one killed, there we go. But our damage, our damage makes it so Taurus is actually a liability, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna rock the boat too hard. We need to come up with a, like a Taurus song. So I have something to do while we have this invincibility. I was trying to make like Wonderwall work for it, but it, it doesn't fit at all. Today is gonna be the day when I'm gonna bring it back to you. By now, if I was Liam Gallagher, I'd probably sue. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with uh, music litigation. Why can I? Everybody's got to have a passion in life, right? 
Mine is incredibly boring DJ Shadow court transcripts from 1996. Hoping for a Joker trade there. Okay, sure, dude. I, you will never find me being sad about this. Now the logical endpoint, if we don't get, uh, if we don't ever stop having error rooms, the logical endpoint is we just run out of keys, which is fine. Probably didn't need to take the body, but spider bite's good. Boiled baby is really good. And maybe we'll get to Dad's key fight Mega Satan. I don't know. At this point, it's just you know whatever happens happens. It's all good. We should take all the keys. Come get a taste, honestly. We're in a very unique situation. I actually want uh, to get a speed downgrade so we can shoot when we enter a room instead of exclusively having Taurus. Like, usually Taurus is, uh, is a great thing to have. Here it's almost, it's slowing us down. Oh, you're fucked. That was beautiful. Okay, second secret room. What do we got? I can see forever. Are you a wizard? Experimental pill was just a tears upgrade. I actually had no idea that you could get an experimental pill with no downgrade. That's cool. Either we have terrible luck or it's very rare, because that's the first one I think I've ever seen, but I'll take it either way. Maybe it's only when you're at the tears cap for something? I don't know. Yo, Taurus, fucking chill out, dude. Well, being able to kill one gate before anything bad happens is pretty nice. So you probably get an average of maybe like three um, undefined plays per floor. I think your odds are pretty not great to go that far here, considering that, you know, it's like a one in four roll. Two secret rooms. Uh, maybe one in three roll. Two secret rooms and then the error room. But you only have to get the payout once to buy yourself three more rolls, so... We should try it right away. Ooh, Sin Robes, so good. All right, and we're not really losing out on um, on keys. You know, we're gaining like more than four keys per floor right now. All these items are at least semi-useful. Is the Super Bum transformation in Rebirth or uh, only in Afterbirth? And Afterbirth Plus, presumably. Now we need BFF. But my god. Another speed downgrade would would be extremely good as well. You know what? Our, our tiers... Maybe we should shoot... How does this work? Can we shoot and stack up like a bunch of tiers in our tier tail? Then enter the next room, use the tiers to shit on the enemies? I don't know. The tiers seem to spawn room to room, so maybe not. Sure, the virus is fine. If you can get any shots fired before entering the room, you're, you're sitting pretty. Thank you, Dark Bomb. I think I'm ready for this run to be over. <laughs> We're approaching absurdity, I think. But it was a nice trip down memory lane to be able to do this again. I still don't fully understand why I was taken out of Afterbirth, but you know, that's not that's not for my that's not for me to speculate, I guess. Certainly makes undefined not useless, which is a nice place to be. I'll keep popping it, but it now it's like if we find the boss before we find the error room, I think we're just gonna take the take the W here. Hopefully though, us putting in a little bit of overtime makes you feel better about the fact that I missed the alt path. If not, I understand that as well. I hope that I'll see you bright and early. 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time tomorrow. Regardless, hopefully I'll get a chance to redeem myself, but. Maybe it's the straw that broke the camel's back. I don't know. No error room. All right, I think this could be it. Now I think I owe us a good faith effort to try to get to the boss fight as quickly as possible. So I think it's going to be do right here. I mean, we have 31 damage. That's really, really good. That's not just, you know, good for a, a chest run. That's good, like, in all conceivable circumstances. Actually can't make do with that black card. Oh, come on. Just one teleportation to the devil room. That's all I ask. All right, so we are going to finish the run here. It was fun while it lasted. There we go. We got three shots out before things 
hit the fan. There's no real reason to stand up there, considering we're killing enemies in no time flat anyway. Oh my god, it's so loud. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another anti-birth run.